Welcome back once again to Let's Play Disciples 2. It's a new day, the birds are singing, and zombies are attacking our cities. Isn't it great? Now, I'm actually going to run back to this city and... You know, I'm going to hire a new unit. Because I'm going to take on this zombie. And instead of wasting all that experience, I'll give it to someone who can use it. Now, how much damage is George doing? Still 151. It hasn't changed since I checked it last. That's to be expected. And it, you know what? This actually works out. The Acolyte is all that I needed for this. He gains a good 37 experience. And now we can start saving up. And George is all we've got. Okay. The only problem is if someone swings past me and attacks that city, that cleric is dead. So let's not let that happen. While we wait for something to happen here. Okay, we can kill him. Before he gets to our city. Eh, thief doesn't matter. Now, I think I'm getting about 200 gold per turn. So I still need to survive for one more turn. Before I can afford... The structure for... I don't know, whatever is after a cleric. I totally forget, actually. Okay, awesome. Oh, he's just gonna defend and run away. Works for me. Uh, we'll poison this guy. And then kill this guy. Kind of a waste of damage maybe, but... Wanted to make sure he wouldn't get away. Okay, there we go. That Acolyte is actually... Ooh, wow, he's coming real close too. Okay, so I might have to purchase another unit. and then swap out again. Hopefully the undead don't steal my city from me. I don't think they have enough movement points, but it's always a danger. Well, good thing the thieves can't take cities or I'd be screwed. Hey, I actually have to make a choice here. What's more important? Because I've got enough for one structure. I can either build my cathedral or my tower. And, you know, I think I'm going to build the tower just because, you know, I've got a thief right here. It'll give me, like, just that bare minimum of, of experience that I need to uh, get that wizard leveled up and you know the acolyte can maybe get enough experience to after another couple battles to level up to a cleric as well put that in another party somewhere 
and things should be going pretty well. We'll see. We'll see. Now, where did that sum? Oh, he's down here. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go back here, hide out in my city for the time being. Because I still need to wait another couple turns until I can afford that next structure. Doing what we can, doing what we can. I'd like to hire another angel at some point as well. Try to steal that gold from the legions. But at the moment, I really need the gold for those structures. So we'll just leave it be for now. Although it is like right here. I don't know. Ugh. I'll just leave it. Okay, these are easy battles. <gasps> Not much happening here. Nope, paralyzed. And missed. And healed. Okay. Wow. <laughs> So now, let's see, he's doing 75. So it looks like we can kill both of these without taking any damage. Unless they get a lucky shot off before my knights go. Yep, okay. So we took a little damage. That's not so bad. Heal it up. And now we've got another cleric which we can use. Now we don't have to worry about it. Any other structures yet. Attack. Okay. Um, attack that one again. And paralyzed. Oh wow, he's running away. <laughs> So we'll have him wait, so our wizard can kill these, and then we can kill this one, and no worries whatsoever. Okay, next step. How much gold have we got? Ooh, that's not what I wanted to hit. 256. So another two turns. Well, at least we're taking out all of these specters and zombies. It's definitely a priority. Because again, if you let them sort of build up, it's just going to be too much to deal with. You're gonna, they're going to take all your cities, they're going to take all your resources, and you'll be left with virtually nothing. My lord, an elven messenger, asks for an audience. He brings news of the elven city. The undead are breaking down our defenses. Our troops have not slept in days. The accursed dead attack us incessantly. Please hurry, before it is too late. Okay, so we probably should rush over there fairly soon. But these undead are just... They're battering at my door, too. You know, I've got priorities, man. And my priorities are, you know, the preservation of my own skin, first and foremost. And then maybe I'll help out the other guys. If I get a chance. You know, after I've done some pointless killing of orcs and goblins. And that sort of thing, you know? So I... 
you know, I'll wait one more turn. Build the structure first. And then worry about hiring another angel. Oh, he's going to take my city away from me. Oh, no, he's not. Good, because that cleric would have died. And we really want her back. Almost a matriarch. Oh, there's actually a shop right here. Wow. Good thing. But that'll have to wait briefly while I grab my cleric and level up to a matriarch. Okay. Attack. And attack that. Nice. Good damage. <clears throat> Let's kill that one. And they're gonna try to run away. But it's not gonna work. Of course. How could it? We're just too amazing. And after this, we should have our matriarch. Poisoned... Nope, not this time. I forgot to build the structure! I'm so smart. <laughs> wow, that was so pointless. Okay, so apparently I'm a little too tired to be doing this properly, but uh, we'll continue on. See how close the undead get to us. Where our um, units should be sent first. Well, his spy is dead. And these two seem to just be sticking around that city. So I can go there at any time. Probably soon. That will be a threat if we leave it for too long. But I will end the video here, and I will see you guys next time.